Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, we will be learning about inequalities. We will see what is an inequality, the different inequality signs, and how to read math sentences with inequalities. I'm sure you're wondering by now, what is an inequality? Well, as the word implies, something is not equal to another. According to the Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary, an inequality is a formal statement of inequality between two quantities, usually separated by a sign of inequality, such as less than, greater than, or not equal to. For a more complete mathematical definition, we would include these two symbols as well. This one is less than. We can remember this because the shape of the L in less is the same as that of the sign. This one is greater than. It's the opposite of less than. This one is less than or equal to. And this one is greater than or equal to. Notice that for this sign, it's like we took a less than and glued it to an equal sign. And for this one, it's like we took a greater than and we glued it to an equal sign as well. At some point, you might be asked to classify a statement as true or false using these symbols. Here's our first statement. We read from left to right as if we were reading, and it would go 2 is less than 5. Well, this statement is true. Here's our next example, and once again we read from left to right. This would be read as 3 is greater than 1, and this is also a true statement. In this example, we need to perform a math operation first. We would add 2 plus 1. That gives us 3, and 3 is less than 4, so this is a true statement. This would be read as 3 is greater than or equal to 2. Well, 3 is greater than 2, but it is not equal to 2. Remember, all we need is for one of these to apply to our math sentence so that it will be considered to be true. This would be read as 7 is less than or equal to 4. Well, 7 is not less than 4, so that's out. And it's not equal to 4. Neither of these two apply, so this statement is false. This math sentence would be read 3 is greater than or equal to 3. Well, 3 is not greater than 3, but it is equal to 3. And as long as one of these statements applies, we consider the math sentence to be true. This statement reads 2 is less than or equal to negative 5. Well, 2 is not less than negative 5, and 2 is not equal to negative 5. Neither of these two statements apply, so it's considered to be false. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. We just said 2 was not less than 5. Hold on here. We have 2, but we don't have 5. It's negative 5. Notice where it is on the number line. It's way into the negative direction. And as we've seen before, the more we go into the negative direction, the less value we have. So 2 is not less than negative 5. It's actually greater. That is why when we read from left to right 2 less than negative 5, we could not accept it. Subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos. And if you'd like me to create more, like and share with someone who might find this helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.